Hello everyone, it is Doom here once again playing a video game. Today it is Smashcraft, and today it is a recording of Smashcraft. And you may have noticed that this is a 2v3, and the reason for that is that we've got a newbie, uh, two in fact, on the enemy team. So it seemed fairly balanced. And here's just me chatting away. on the 2v2 we have a bit of a problem that I choose snake and misery over there it's actually a solid counter to snake since his zerglings can eat the traps there's also the fact I miss every shot which leads to us being dead here I believe or not but we only survive with 75 HP even light chip will kill us so we end immediately try to heal up but we have to cancel that and here's another missed shot because I'm missing every shot. Here's another missed shot because I missed. Yeah, you, you get the. Point. Finish. We're dead. And once again, we go this time aggressively. And ended up getting some decent damage. But, one, but here I am stuck all three. So I run away as fast as I can and miss more shots. I am bad at this game. Here I'm stuck in a little 2v1 against the two noobs. Their uh, good player, Skyzor, is currently the opposing snake. Does that increase speed? Much there. I think it was. Seems more reasonable. Yeah. You're just missing everything. Okay. If uh, the last snake game I was at least half consistent, this is one of those days where I'm just really inconsistent on my shots, as in I miss all of them. It's generally my great flaw as a player, generally any game I play, that I'm very inconsistent. I don't consistently land shots. I either hit all of them or miss all of them. Missing everything. Miss. And yeah, their snake is less issues with the whole hitting thing. Where we're able to kill Ace, we get sniped. Rebel three action. Damn Zerglings. At the very least, they don't deal very much damage. They're just annoying. Here's Ace, though, however, he's getting jumped in, getting just shredded. That's Revolver, who ended up getting a bit too many hits. Now there's Misery here, who's all alone. Although his Zerglings, annoying as they are, can do a good job. I have to kill all the Zerglings there in order to get the trap. Because even just one will activate it. Here, Revolver clears the Zerglings, which is nice. There's Ace missing his ultimate, but then I just miss everything, even though I really should have been able to kill him.
and then our revolver walked into a viper trap. You never want to walk into a viper trap. A snake that has his enemy in a viper trap goes from like a mid tier character, like who like leans low tier to top tier. Because a viper trap is absolutely brutal. It slows you, blinds you, and mutes you. So it can just be brutal. And here I die. And then we get Husky Starcraft Easter Egg. And we've actually lost. But I'm enjoying it. But I'm enjoying it. Because I'm, you know, lost. It's not something you do very often when you're me. Well, at least in Smashcraft, I'm actually pretty good at this. And here's where I pick my main after a long hiatus. As I main Predator, the Roach. The Roach is actually my favorite StarCraft unit. I don't think they're amazing, sadly. Otherwise, I'd probably use them a lot more often in like actual StarCraft games. But I just don't think they're as good as people think they are. I feel like they're too easily countered. Hmm. I'm going to speed up until the next... I could actually pause the recording. But... I'm feeling a bit drained today. Today was pretty abnormal. And also, I'm getting stomach cramps, but I don't want to, you know, complain too much. I complained a lot. <laughs> I've been complaining a lot. Anyhow, today we're fighting a, uh, this match, we're fighting a Schizor and a Zephyr and an Omni. And I'm playing my main, so I'm happy. I am very happy. I'm just kind of chilling. Because I actually want to 1v1 Skizor since I haven't fought him yet in a proper 1v1. I'm not sure if... Uh... <laughs> yes, I'm happy. Because Dex is the best character in the game. I'm not sure if you watched the Dex's Ingenuity video. But that's the thing. Dex is, like, absurdly good. This is just the practice round, the warm-up round as it's called. We'll just go to faster, yeah. aggress it, enjoy the <laughs> fast action, and then we'll slow it back down to the normal speed. Pyro's a pretty character. He's really good in team since he can take damage from his ally for his allies. Yeah. Like bullying him into going fighting the beast alone. The turrets Dex has are indestructible. They don't do a lot of per damage shot, but they can add up to do chip. Meanwhile, Pyro is over here <laughs> doing Pyro things. Does do is they do activate some ults though and run away. So the new Pyro's ult deals damage to himself, but he gains invincibility whilst he's charging his nuke, and it does a ton of damage, an absolute metric ton of them. Good for wombos. And here I activate my own ultimate to pin down Dex and then finish him off, and I basically run as fast as I can to help my teammate since you know he's at like no health. Sadly, I have no fury. And that means my rushing is limited. But I am finally in the front. Omni whips his ultimate, because the thing is that his ultimate uh, is in slightly in front of him. It's not right in front of him. Here I do my best to body block my teammate. Predator is a bit of an interesting tank, in that he basically only wants to attack one person at a time and then move on to the next. Yeah, this is the first time i played Predator in a while. Uh, back when I was playing this and not recording. This is a recording. I hope you've noticed that. <laughs> Replay. This Predator is my main. I use so much fun 
And anyway, he's a bit of an interesting tank and in that he basically only wants to ever attack one person, ever. And the thing is, is that whenever he hits somebody, they do less damage to his allies, and their allies do less damage to Predator. And Predator also deals more damage to them. Oh, well, Pyro is over here. It's pretty good. Pyro's pretty good. He's not really someone I enjoy playing too much, since I'm not overly fond of defensive play. Very aggressive. But it is useful to have a little time. Here's Dex just doing his best to try and stave off the onslaught. And Pyro's actually doing a fairly good job of 2v1ing over here. In fact, I believe... He goes down, and I'm still chasing after Dex. Because Dex is really good. <laughs> Only get his pet there, but it blows up on its own over time. I'm finally able to pin him down. Nom nom nom. This leaves Omni to chase after <laughs> Pyro, who is incredibly low health, but you know, hard to escape from Predator. He's really good. You know? he, gets, he has a speed boost. He has this, which is invincibility plus a speed boost. And it also stuns you. It doesn't deal too much damage, but it does stun you. So it's pretty good. And then he also has his dash, which can move people and also stun if you get him against a wall. And of course, his burrow ambush, which is a teleport. <laughs> Your skies would just be hilariously wrong. Ignis is another support too. <laughs> He's, Ignis is actually my favorite support to play. Whenever I, I choose to play support, I always pick Ignis. He's the, pretty much the third best character in the game after uh, Dex and then Serena, who's also a support. Serena is a bit more limited in the 1v1 capacity compared to Dex and uh, Ignis, though. But Ignis isn't just completely overpowered. He, ha he has, like, actual weaknesses. Well, he doesn't really have weakness, but like his strengths aren't overwhelming. And, I, and he can be frail at times if you don't use his healing and shielding well. I think his HP is actually only like respectable. And his shield is actually very weak. It's only 100. So, you know, he's not super tanky, but he has a lot of healing and damage. And so he can be tanky if you just play right. I probably explained that badly, but oh well. And Zephyr just got stood in the fire, <laughs> slowly got burnt alive, but I have no health. I want to heal, so Pyro is going to take the heat off of me. Here's that blasted heal drone. Just every pulse, every heal, every little green, just, that's like, it's like 100 HP for Dex. It's tons of healing, especially if you have three people there. Dex is really, really good. <laughs> now you know why I'm recording this. Now I'm back to, I'm back to maul this guy, <laughs> back to maul poor Skyzor. I had, I had so much fun with this game. I'm remembering it now. I just, I love playing Predator. He's, he's, there's a reason he's my main. I don't do it just because he's really good. He might be one of the better characters in the game, but he's still like, I just play him because he's so much fun. I don't care if they nerf Predator. I'd still play him. It's a good thing there isn't any more people playing, or any more people developing since Mephs gave up. Uh, yeah, here he's just trying to stall, trying to survive, but he can't, and then Predator just runs off. <laughs> Victory. And then the store screen, and then we're just going to increase speed for a jiffy. <laughs> yeah. I like Predator, shut up. <laughs> and so does Random, apparently. So does Random. Rip my pick, indeed. And I think I'm either typing or thinking. I forgot. Hold up a moment. Alright, welcome back. We're skipped ahead into the future. I've decided to chose Hawk, who's basically a stealth sniper. Hawk, 
Hawk's fun too. I, I wouldn't say I really main her, but she is a fun pocket pick to practice aiming with. Especially when you do good and you're able to get those stealth shots. You just deal tons and tons of damage. Like, watch this. Look at Dragon's health. Look at Elsie's health. Boom. It's gone. Half of it's gone. Just gone. There's, it didn't exist. I mean, it doesn't look like it, it happened because of its warm-up. And then poor Predator. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that's... <laughs> that's Hawk. You can also play her as like this zoning sniper, but I personally feel like that isn't worth it. It's sometimes what you have to do because you're being pressured and you can't stealth, but... I generally prefer the stealth plus shoot play style, because if you're able to get those hits... Like I was hit by Ace's grenade, so... I can't do those stealth hits, but... Here's me missing a really easy shot. If you're able to get those stealth shots, I think they are worth it. If you have the read down and are able to do it, it is worth it. You just deal so much damage. And here's me missing because I'm bad. And it's, oh shoot, it's still faster. I keep doing that. Here's me just doing some poke. And missing again, because I'm bad. I was able to get some chip. And now I stealth. Because I'm trying to move in to get that big damage. I end up missing, and now I'm in a really bad position. Ugh. Without the uh, new bugs the bug that made you able to blink through walls and stuff, I would have been certainly dead for there. Dead right there. That's uh, one thing to say about the change, is that they've certain- is that they haven't done, um, is that they've basically created a new meta. Um, and here's me being dumb, but I'm getting stuck. <laughs> That's something the bugs have done, is that you can get stuck. I think Predator did earlier. But hey, we got all seer and we escaped. And then I screw it up there because I'm bad. And then here I do a faster S or Z shot, which slows, so I could get more distance. And then here's something. If Nova has full fury, you never ever walk in a straight line. Because that happens. This stealth F destroys people. It deletes health bars, and I was super happy I was able to do that. Anyhow, I'm back to missing every shot in a bit. Here, he tries to heal, but again, Stealth Hawk does tons of damage. He's able to react fast enough to dodge the second shot, though. <laughs> Blew up. It just is another support that I don't play too much, especially since he got nerfed hard by the bugs, making you able to just blink past his teleport. But he's still fun to play, and he can be really obnoxious to fight. He still has his utility. Like his, uh, I think it's his S. Uh, it, if it hits you, it basically cripples you, and you can't do anything. And it still does tons of damage. It's the thing that killed Predator. Again, it does tons of damage, and it just cripples you. You can't do anything. Yeah, we're able to win there despite our numbers of disadvantage. If only because Hawk can just delete people. She's able to hit those stealthless. Again, if you want to just play a poking game, I think the other Scions, or even like Snake, are actually superior to Hawk. The real reason to use Hawk is that her damage and potential is busted. Just one single stealth S can do like, I think it's like 5,000 damage. No, it's not 5,000. It's... It's, it's a thousand at least. I don't know the exact numbers, but it's a thousand at least. And as you can see, health health bar. She can almost one shot herself with just a basic ability plus stealth. What are the health bars of the other characters? Ace, Seer. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty bad. But it's not five thousand. I think. Let's see. Yeah, I think executioner plus. Executioner plus stealth can, for instance, Oko, Hawk herself. It does deal enough damage. Also, my mouse pad drops. I hope you didn't hear that.
Uh, running away because Hawk gets caught out. I, I, it's like, look at my health bar. Look at my health bar. I'm still bleeding. I'm still bleeding. I'm still waiting for myself. <laughs> and it didn't happen. Eh, run away. Run away. <laughs> and here I'm like, okay. I'll try and get another stealth shot. Stealth F. It didn't work, though. I'm not sure if you actually hear Hawk when she does that, but... Uh, if you do... You better not admit. You better start... That's like... If you can hear Hawk while she's stealth and she, and she says that, that's like your opportunity to become as dodgy as possible. And here's Aegis' ultimate to that time freeze. But, uh... <laughs> but, yeah, that's what happened. That's what happened. And I got to the silent shot. And then I got... Uh, almost killed. That's what. Uh, I'll see her misses there, just barely. I keep running. I keep running. Keep running. <laughs> keep running. Run, Forest, run. And here, I'm just trying to stealth. Because I know that if I get hit, I'm dead. I try and stealth. But here, I see that Ace is coming for me, so it's like, oh shit, I have to do something. So I decide to just go for Ace. He dies. <laughs> probably, probably, he probably didn't ult me even though, or grenade me, even though I think he pretty could. Probably because he just didn't like, see me, because I was came from behind. Ugh. That hit me. I think I was dead. And my goal there is to use the EXS to kill Ulsir, but Predator actually dashed and deep in a reposition. And I didn't react fast enough because I was kind of panicking at the fact that I had so little health. Just ignore me being dumb there. Let's see. This guy's is a bit scared of the predator there, and he has pretty good reason to it. There's some hit and run. Got I'll see here to use his ice block. That's his G. It basically makes him invincible, so it has its uses. Screwed up the barrier there. And then uses his own G to escape that. And then or this is EX. Um, I forgot what it's called. Come on. Oh, nope. He's dead. You spread discord among us. Rebel three. Action. They won. And that means it's currently an even game. Each side has one victory. Predator Ghost goes in. No patience whatsoever. This does give me an opportunity to try and go for a ton of damage on Ace here. Lost tons of health, and that's without a stealth shot. That's a bit more of a target of opportunity thing, because I because I think I already missed my stealth shot. Which means I couldn't go for it, but I didn't want to miss the opportunity to just do tons of damage, especially since they weren't after me. Just because you're not in stealth doesn't mean you don't deal damage. It just means you might need to be a bit more observant. Here, I try to get another stealth shot. I ended up getting hit and out of stealth, but I still landed the shot. Here they, Predator. Uh, let's see, I'm back in stealth. I'm trying to go for another hit. I actually go for the stealth F, but he dodges. I think you do hear the voice, because there's no reason for him to do that, I think. But yeah, that hit him, he was dead, just straight up. There's, I'm pretty sure that would have killed him from like near full. I don't think it would be a one hit. Uh, it's the stealth bonus is... Uh, it's a 50% increase, so I think it does 1,500. So Aegis would survive that with like 300 health. Which is still... <laughs> that's like 90% damage. Goes to show just how much damage Hawk does. Again, that wasn't a stealth that That wasn't a stealth. If it was, Ace was dead. If that was a stealth shot, Ace was already dead. And here, look at the damage. He... Aegis is taking. And he, I think he, like, got bugged and couldn't move himself. This is really weird. Here, I decided to take the opportunity to heal. Now it's time to go back into the fight. Just 
stealthed, so I'm trying to get in. I start aiming, and it's a miss, because I am bad. I take down Ace, or, not, or Aegis, and then watch at this. You'll notice something. I'm aiming in the wrong direction, but he jumped right into it. I was slightly off, but he, but he blinked, and it hit right into my shot. Yeah, I, I was busy cheering. <laughs> I was busy cheering myself. It's not often you get a read, but it's so satisfying when you do. Here, I miss another shot. I, get, I, get, I, start, the, I start the first game last shot really badly. Because, again, I'm just not very a consistent player. I don't do very well. And here, they just rush after me. They'll <laughs> see her. They don't want to deal with me at all. And you'll notice something, that means Ace has to deal with Predator alone. Because they're both currently running after me. Like, look, look, I'll see her. He can turn right now, and he'll do good, tons of damage to Predator, but he doesn't. He doesn't. And as you can see, Ace is just dead. <laughs> yeah, Mike was a Mike wasn't the biggest fan of that. And that's the thing with Predator, is that if he's on to you, he's on to you. And you can just do things like that if your teammates don't help you. Here, I get the stealth shot plus aught A into Alcyon. and he just takes tons of damage. I'm like, well, I can just kill you. And then I get, like, completely destroyed by that. Like, look, this is what happens when you miscalculate this hawk. You just... I really should have been dead there. If Ace was there, I was 100% dead. <laughs> I take the opportunity to heal. Every bit of health really helps when you're so squishy. It hears me, because it's like, I, when I saw Mike die, I was like, really? <laughs> die, die, die. Here, I tried it again, but ended up missing. <laughs> That's uh, a predator for you. Hmm. Yeah, I probably should have stealth first and then tried to get a better shot, but I just used A. And then here I decide to type message, so I back off. <laughs> you don't let your teammates die when you have numbers advantage like that. You really don't want to. Especially when you're- they're right there. Because Predator was able to just change targets to all Seer without too much difficulty. Man, I'm missing another shot. He uses his G and I end, so I end up missing. And then this thing is just so brutal. You can't do anything. Whenever you see that warp-ish effect, that blue like ring effect. You just can't do anything. It's really brutal. Can't move, your abilities recharge slower, your channeling takes longer. You just can't do anything. It's brutal. And yeah, here's a stealth shot that just did tons of damage. And then here he uses the cover, and it's like, I I kind of don't want to go too far. But then he heals, so it's like I, I try and pressure him out of it, make him do something. And it does kind of work, but well. Yeah. Immediately go straight into healing. Where's the real me? That's the real me. I defend it, or at least it would miss, I'm not sure. And yeah. I think with that, that's the near. Oh, apparently not. I was wrong. Wrong, I say. It's a speed up then. Ignis, that's my favorite support. Yeah. I, I like playing Ignis a lot. Again, I don't really think I play him like enough to main him, but he's definitely someone I really enjoy playing, especially when I'm feeling in a more support-ish mood or my team needs a support, I always go Ignis. And here I just get randomed into Omni. Right. 
And then here's just me talking. Zephyr is really dangerous in these more hectic 3v2 or 3v3 engagements because he's really good at murdering you. He is the best at murdering people. That's his whole niche is that he can just kill people really quickly. Like he's not as sticky or durable as Predator, but he also is a lot more explosive than Predator. Tons more explosive. So in a 1v1, he'll either just win the, against the person just because he murders them so much faster than they can, or he loses because he's also so binary. And in 3v3, he can more easily get uh, 1v1s against people since it's just so much more hectic. If you're really not paying attention, like, see that last game when Predator did it? Uh, Zephyr can do that, and you, you it doesn't take him two seconds. It takes him, like, one. He can really just explode on people. Brutal. I okay, just need to go back to normal, sorry. Here we use the flame trail to heal up very quickly with the aid of first aid. Omni is also a big damage character who could just do tons of things. Like look at look at Zephyr's health. It's just it was like here and now it's here. And he's still taking some burn damage. Sadly, Ignis just gets destroyed there, leaving me in a 1v3. I know right away I need to run and also kill Zephyr. Zephyr should be my priority target. But right now, he's all the way over there. And again, even at this low health, Zephyr is explosive. He can kill you. But here, I'm just stuck with... Uh, the thing is, is that Omni has global abilities. He can stop healing. See right there? Skyzor has to move or he takes huge damage. He has to. He has no choice about it. And here, my goal is to kill the Zephyr, which I wasn't able to do. That makes things a lot less stressful. A 3v1 is more stressful than a 2v1, and a 2v1 is more stressful than a 1v1. That's that's basically a universal rule. And so, by taking down Zephyr, I have to deal with a lot less people. No, it's one person, but... Especially Zephyr. Zephyr is very <laughs> explosive, as I said already. Here, I actually knew exactly what was going to happen. I knew as soon as I got stunned, Ace would try to ult, but... I didn't use the escape key. I was crowd controlled. I couldn't move. So I end up dying. I definitely could have won that. But, well, I didn't because I played badly. I was too slow. I knew exactly what I needed to do. I had the means to act. I just didn't. And with Ignis, you want to stay in the fire if you're an ally and stay out of it if you're an enemy. It heals a pretty good amount. And that shield there, it explodes, so it also deals good damage. But it's actually very fragile. It doesn't it's more of an offensive tool, actually, than defensive. Here we dodge Zephyr's W, or his, not W, his, his dash. And I hear I kind of forgot to actually uh, stop Ace's recovery, at least for a little bit. Here again, I'm focusing on mostly on Zephyr since Ace is out of range, and I'm scared of Zephyr because he's very explosive. It doesn't matter that Dragon isn't Shizor. Zephyr is dangerous and explosive, so I want to kill him whenever possible. Okay, this isn't a really a good ultimate, but at least it's zoning. The thing is that all that damage, that all that shot is, whenever you get that orange shield, it means Pyro is the one that took the damage instead of Zephyr. And then here, this time, does get hit. Here, we need to run away from Pyro, because again, that, if that hits him, I think it hit him, it did like, here to here. At least I think I did It just does tons of damage. You don't want to get hit by it. Here, Ignis gave me some covering fire. Literal fire. And then here's Zephyr doofing up. Got hit by a stun from Pyro there. I'm just trying to kill Zephyr. But he activates his ultimate, and Pyro Forge bonded him, which is the circle. Which meant we couldn't kill him, and if Zephyr has his ultimate, you think he can kill you in one second? No, he'll he'll cut that down to half a second. He just does so much damage, just so quickly. Again, our goal is to just kill Zephyr, so we're dealing with a 2v2. And I'm like, I'll go with that afterburner, I'll get that speed boost. And well, I have the speed boost, so might as well do some damage. get them the double fire combo. Stuck in a bit of a 1v1 with Pyro until he activates his ultimate. That leaves Ignis to just go one on one. 
and then here. That's a thing, uh, another interesting thing about Omni that really makes him more combo-ish compared to other characters is that his E or D over here, Rimpain? Uh, Rim, I'm, not, I'm going to assume that's German for Rampage. It does a unique stats effect called Stumbled. And Stumbled is sort of like a half stun in that it stuns people that they can't escape out of, usually. And it also doubles the next instant of damage they take, so... Uh, you can combo that with big burst characters to just do tons of damage. Or, in, in this case, you can combo it with yourself to deal pretty good damage. So yeah, Omni's a pretty good character. I don't play him too much. That's, not, that's just kind of because he's more maintenance than me. He, he's definitely someone that requires you to press buttons. It also requires you to learn how to use his S key. That's the air drop thing that causes planes that's global but I, I I'm really bad at using that because you can actually cast it in reverse in order to get it faster and if it's closer to you or if it's farther from you which you can use to literally insta bomb people if they're on the exact other side of the map but I'm really bad at it and here I see this is a chance to try and kill Zephyr or at least do damage and then here I'm thinking, wait a second, I have my ultimate, I got, I can hit tons of them. And then here, look, look at that health bar. Look at those health bars. Pyro's a tank. He has over 2,000 health, and even he took damage from that. Even he got dented. And Ace doesn't have nearly as much durability, and he took tons of it. Here, I just stopped to make the healing. He utilizes his, sh his uh, EX shield here, which is a bit strange. Ignis actually has a really good EXS, in my opinion. It actually doesn't have any different numbers from his normal S, his normal fire trail. But what it does is that it basically removes the position of the requirement. All you need to do is use it, and then anyone you hit takes the full damage and full healing. And like are just slowed or sped up for very long. It's a really good ability. I just love using it. Here's another combo is that you can actually use your S first, then D, to make it harder to react, or to make it harder to react if you have an escape ability that does let you escape. So I think I think a few do. And here I use both the ultimate and the S, and then I cancel his. <laughs> so yeah, I used Omni's ultimate. He used Omni's ultimate and his uh, bomb to kill Pyro there. And then I used the D to stun Ace or stumble him. And then I just shoot him in the face. Because Omni's thing is that he also has a bit of a shotgun type thing. So the closer you are, the more damage he does with his basic attack. Sweet stunner. And he's German. So I was able to get a bit of a stylish Kamdukul kill there. I at least think it's stylish. And here Pyro takes a chunk from his health bar. I try to poke him so he stops healing, but I'm not too as successful as I'd like. And here I see that I'm about to be murdered by Zephyr, so I use the EX and then the fire trail Ignis has already placed to try and get out of there. And then I heal up myself. Ace notices, so he goes for the 1v1. And this is generally a cup matchup I'd favor Ace and Ace is really good too. I actually argue he's one of the best characters just because he's so well-rounded and has, in my opinion, the best EX skill in the game. And a decent ultimate that's generally best used for the like 1v1s or in combination with other people. It's that blow him up in the air and then do tons of damage. Here's another good ultimate that kills Zephyr and also does good damage to Pyro. Nothing to Ace, sadly, but oh well. Here, he just eats that grenade. You never want to eat that uh, explosion, that, that plane. It does 225 damage, which is pretty big, especially if you're stumbled and it's doubled. All right, let Ignis duel it out with Ace, because I'm low health, and Ace can easily kill it. It's like a grenade would set me down from there to there. So, Ace isn't very explosive, but he does a lot of damage, and it's consistent damage. Ace never really has a downtime when he doesn't deal damage. Like here, Ignis just getting destroyed whilst I'm healing up. Alright, I'm just... Okay. I don't let him heal. I have to, I use that, so I have the health advantage. And then when I see the fire trail there, 
Yeah, look, look at his health. Ignis's health just skyrocket. And with that, it's over. I think with that, everyone should have a nice day for Doom is signing out. Goodbye.